YouTube and welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new to this channel, my name is Brenda Marquez and I am currently on my fitness journey, which is why I created this YouTube channel to help provide information for you guys regarding health and fitness to help you guys out for those of you guys that are also on your fitness journey. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it is muscle versus fat. For those of you guys that don't know, I am a personal trainer. I have been a personal trainer for almost a year almost almost a year that's oh my goodness yes almost a year so one of the most common questions that I would get or more frequent questions um, as a personal trainer from my clients would be why is my number going up on the scale so that is what brought up this video and I hope that this video helps answer a few of the questions that you guys might also have regarding muscle weight and fat weight so let's go ahead and get into the video so I'm sure that a lot of you guys have probably heard that muscle weighs more than fat, but what does that necessarily mean? Because if you think about it, a pound should be a pound. It doesn't matter if it comes from a pound of muscle or a pound of fat, but that's why I'm here to basically answer that question. What that means is, yes, a pound is a pound. It's still the same, but in a sense it is different. Muscle does weigh more than fat, and the reason for that is because muscle is denser than fat. If you guys see, five pounds of fat versus five pounds of muscle fat takes up a lot more space than muscle does and the reason for that is because muscle is denser than fat what that means is muscle is our muscles like our glutes our biceps triceps all those like main muscle terms that you guys have heard that's our skeletal muscle basically with skeletal muscle it's composed of a bunch of different muscle fibers I'll put a picture right here so you guys can kind of see that but it's composed of different muscle fibers that are densely packed together and that helps to form the main muscles whether that be your quads your hamstrings or all that good stuff and it tends to take up a lot less space whereas fat it's like fat droplets that kind of come like combine together to make this all over your body and fill up those areas now fat is necessary though so don't forget that if you guys are trying to lose certain amount of weights that way that's why there are certain guidelines like that kind of help give you a bit of a um, guidance <laughs> for what percentage of body fat you guys should be shooting for depending on your age range but basically it takes up more space than muscle does and that's why when you put together side by side of uh, five pounds of muscle and five pounds of fat it's gonna be really like muscle looks a lot less than fat does like size wise but that's why I think it's very important and I wanted to have this conversation with you guys because when you guys look at the scale you might be disappointed if you start to do more weightlifting rather than if you just focus on cardio and the reason for that is because you're building more muscle and muscle does tend to weigh more than fat um, does so that's why when you guys are working out try not to get discouraged if you guys are getting onto the scale and seeing like oh shoot like I just gained I don't know five pounds of, <laughs> of weight because that might be five pounds of muscle and as your body your metabolism starts to speed up from the weightlifting and all that and your nutrition is on point then at that point it might be that you are gaining muscle so seeing a gain in weight overall might not necessarily be from the fat and in time your fat will start to like kind of disappear <laughs> and then you'll see your body looking much better and that's why you should be basing your weight loss off of how are you looking, how are you fitting into your clothes, because losing weight doesn't necessarily mean that you're losing fat. And I think that that's very important to make that point for you guys. So that's why when you guys see two people that are the same height, same weight, but if one of them has more muscle mass than the other one does, you'll see a total difference in the way that their body is composed you know, and the way that their body looked. Back when I was thinner, I would ask them how much they thought that I weighed. At the time, I weighed, I think, 150, but I had a lot more muscle than I do right now. And a lot of people would tell me that they thought that I weighed anywhere between 120 to 125. That's a pretty big gap, you guys. <laughs> that's pretty big. So just keep that in mind, you know. That's why it's really important to not stress out about the number on the scale.
important that you guys not get so caught up on that on checking the scale every single day because I did that and yeah it's cool and all but after a couple weeks I was like like what's going on you know why isn't the number changing on the scale I just wanted to point that out to you guys that way you guys don't build that bad habit and by all means not everybody is the same some people can look at the scale every single day and they feel great it helps motivate them I can be like that sometimes too I kind of just go in phases honestly <laughs> sometimes I can do it sometimes I can't do it but it kind of just depends on you so that is going to conclude this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, don't forget to drop them down below. I would love to be able to answer your questions and help you guys in any way that I can. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video. Have a great weekend, guys.